It's a wonderful morning to be with you again. I am Teacher Benji and I will accompany you in this journey. So, let's start the ball rolling. I want you to identify these numbers. What do you call these numbers? Correct! These are whole numbers. As we all know, whole numbers are the counting numbers and zero. What about these numbers? That's right! These numbers are called decimal numbers. Now, let's perform the indicated operation. Ready? Alright! Let's start! 28 divided by 4. You're right! The answer is 7. 112 divided by 8. The quotient is yes, 14. 225 divided by 5. That is correct. 45 is the quotient. As you can see, in these examples, whole numbers are divided by another whole numbers. Now, try to evaluate these equations. 20 divided by 4 tenths. 35 hundredths divided by 5. What have you observed then? Correct! The first equation shows that the whole number is divided by decimal number. While in the second equation shows decimal number is divided by whole number. I will now welcome you in today's discussion which is to divide whole numbers by decimals up to two decimal places and vice versa. And to divide decimals or mixed decimals. As we all know, division of whole numbers by decimals is quite challenging. But if you immerse yourself in the process, and of course you have mastered the division of whole numbers, you will find it exciting. Let us have our first example. Divide decimals by whole numbers. 8 tenths divided by 2. Just simply perform the division process like dividing whole numbers. Then put the decimal point in the quotient aligned with the decimal point in the dividend. So, 8 tenths Divided by 2, the quotient is 4 tenths. Actually, there are steps to consider in solving it easily and properly. When you divide whole number by decimals, consider the following. First, move the decimal point in the dividend the same number of times you move the divisor's decimal point from left to right. Second, annex zero as needed. Third, you may not divide as in dividing whole numbers. Let me present to you an example. Divide eight by two tenths. First thing to do is to move the decimal point of the divisor to the right to make it whole number. Then add zero to the dividend. The number of zero or zeros is equal to the number of times you move the decimal point. By looking at the example, we just move one decimal place with the divisor. So, we will add one zero at the dividend. You may now perform the division process. Divide eight by two. The quotient is four. Then multiply four and two the product is 8. Write the product 8 below the dividend 8. Then perform the subtraction process. 8 minus 8 equals to 0. Since there are no other than non zero left, simply write the remaining 0 in the quotient. So, the final answer is 40. Another example. 8 divided by 2 hundredths. Let's follow the process done a while ago. 
Move the decimal point two places to the right. Add two zeros to the dividend since you move two decimal places at the divisor. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Then, multiply 4 and 2. The product is 8. Write it below, align with the 8 in the dividend. Then subtract 8 minus 8, it will give you 0. Since there are no other than zeros, you just write the two remaining zeros beside quotient 4. Therefore, the answer is 400. Are you following? Good. You just have to follow the steps presented a while ago. And I'm sure you are heading toward the right direction. Another example. 48 divided by 12 hundredths. Again, change the divisor 12 hundredths to whole number by moving two decimal places to the right. Then, annex zeros to the dividend equal to the number of times you move the decimal point. Then, perform the division process. 48 divided by 12, the quotient is 4. 4 times 12, the product is 48. Write then 48 below 48 in the dividend, then subtract. Since there are no other than zeros, just write the two remaining zeros at the quotient. The final answer is yes, 400. This time, let us turn the pages and proceed with dividing decimals and mixed decimals. To clearly understand the process, Let's do it using this given example. What is the quotient of 23 and 64 hundredths and 4 hundredths? Step 1. Move the decimal point of the divisor two places to the right to make a whole number divisor. Step 2. Move the decimal point of the dividend the same number of decimal places as the divisor. So, move two places to the right. Step 3. Divide 2,364 by 4 the way you divide whole numbers. 23 divided by 4, the quotient is 5. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Then, write it below 23 and perform the subtraction process. 23 minus 20, the difference is 3. Bring down 6 and write it beside 3. 36 divided by 4, the quotient is 9. 9 times 4 is equal to 36. Then write 36 below 36. Then subtract it. 36 minus 36 is equal to 0. Bring down 4. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Write the product 4 below 4. And then subtract. It will give you 0. Therefore, the answer is... Yes! 591. Step 4. Write the decimal point of the quotient directly above the decimal point of the dividend. Hence, the quotient of 23 and 64 hundredths and 4 hundredths is 591. I know for sure, kids, that some of you are having a hard time as of this moment. But, when you have a specific goal to achieve after our discussion today, I am sure you will find this topic very interesting to learn. Let's take another example. 9 and 62 hundredths divided by 7 and 4 tenths. Still, we will follow the steps in dividing decimals or mixed decimals. Move the decimal point of the divisor or 
one place to the right to make a whole number divisor. Next, move the decimal point of the dividend, the same number of the decimal, place as the divisor. So, move it one place to the right, then do the division process, 96 divided by 74, the quotient is 1. Then, multiply it by 74. The product is 74. Subtract 74 from 96. It will give you the difference of 22. Then, bring down the 2 in the dividend. 222 divided by 74. The quotient is 3. 3 times 74. The product is 222. Then, Subtract 222 from 222, it will give you the difference of a zero. Put the decimal point in the quotient aligned with the dividend. Therefore, the answer is 1 and 3 tenths. Thank you so much kids for your participation. Let us go back to what we have discussed. To divide decimal by whole number, divide it like dividing whole numbers. Then, put decimal point in the quotient aligned with the decimal point in the dividend. To divide whole numbers by decimals, move the decimal point of the divisor to the right to make it whole number. Annex zeros as needed. Divide as in dividing whole number. To divide decimals by another decimals, Move the decimal point at the divisor to make it a whole number. Move also the decimal point in the dividend the same number of decimal places as the divisor. Follow the division process. With those steps presented, I want you to prepare a clean sheet of paper and perform the indicated operation. You are given one minute to answer each problem. Number one, 55 divided by 25 hundredths. You're right. The answer is 220. Number 2. 12 and 4 tenths divided by 4 hundredths. Correct. The quotient is 
310. Number 3. 9 and 18 hundredths divided by 9 hundredths. You got it right. It's 102. Number 4. 12 and 5 tenths divided by 25. Good job! The quotient is 5 tenths. Congratulations! You have done a great job. For your activities, kindly answer the following. Module 13. Dividing whole number by decimals up to two decimal places. Answer pages 8 to 9. Module 14. Dividing decimals or mixed decimals Answer pages 6 to 8. Let me leave you this very important quote from Martin Luther King Jr. If you can fly, then run. If you can run, then walk. If you can walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Goodbye and see ya!